Cole, mixed martial arts bout, with two four-minute rounds. Making his way to the octagon, we have an MMA den representative, weighing in at 71 kilograms. Please put your hands together for Terry Shaknovsky. Fighting out of the red corner, what is it? T.K.F.A. He weighed in at 71 kilograms. Please put your hands together for Michael Gutkowski. MMA at semi-pro, two four-minute rounds, as you heard from Pierre, RMC, Taron Shagnovsky versus Michael Gutowski. And again, as in each of our fights, there's a distinct height advantage, and this time it's to the red corner from Team KFA, Gutowski. But as we've said so many times, Nick, it's, it's one thing having the advantage, it's knowing how to use it. Exactly, and it's very difficult to take advantage of those little things when you're semi-pro, first few outings out here under all this pressure. Nice stiff jab from Gutowski. Yeah, this is some clean stand-up we're seeing here. Yeah, Shabnowski came back well with his own left and right, and then into the clinch against the fence. Yes, yeah, so we can assume here Taran is the one looking for the takedown. He closed the distance. Michael has to get his back off the cage. Just been warned about using the, the cage there, but good knees to the inside of the thigh. Those really do sting. They don't look like a lot, but a full power knee to the thigh really deadens the leg. It's a good little distractor as well, because Taran's just looking for that opportunity to drop down, I think, and get the takedown. Short right hand. Oh, the second right hand landed very strongly, Nick. All sorts of trouble. For Michael Gutowski. He's done well to stay on his feet there, but he needs to close the distance and clinch because he's still wobbly, he's still rocked. Well, he just took another big right hand. Amazingly, I thought that one would send him down, but now he's coming back. It's a very quick recovery. I think Taron was stunned that he couldn't put him away, to be honest. Well, that last right was the last of three, and it landed cleanly. I mean, the nose of Michael Gutowski is bleeding but what a strong young man that would have put a lot of men away and I think you're right I think Taron was a bit shocked there that that effort didn't reap a knockout I think they've both earned each other's respect now we've got a real fight on our hands yes it stayed upright the whole round and Gutowski coming back very strongly after it looked like it was all over for him Taron should try and land that overhand right again that's what started things off for him earlier in the round yeah, it's just got a bit scrappy now, as you'd expect. They've expended a lot of energy, and they've both landed with hurtful combinations. And it's just a little bit ragged. The nose bleeding freely now, but he comes back strongly again. He's, Michael has backed Taron up across the cage there. Taron reverses it, and they're back into that high clinch position against the cage. Well, it's from that high clinch that Taron first landed the two bombs of right hands. Yeah, we just... He broke away and it was the overhand right, clipped it, started it all off. But again, maximum credit to Michael there for surviving that onslaught. And he came back, Nick, which, which is testament to his conditioning, his strength and his heart, really, because they were heavy punches that he took. Absolutely, and Michael's got double underhooks here. Let's see if he can link his hands together, maybe suck the hips in and secure a takedown. A little knees to the midsection and Leon separates them again. Intriguing first round. The nose damage there you can see for yourselves very clearly. Yes, that blood coming through Michael's nose is bound to affect his breathing, so he's having to breathe through his mouth instead. But he's got a good jab when he uses it. Here we go, here comes the bombs and they are going tit for tat. Yes, a short little uppercut there from Michael on the inside. Yeah. 
And a nice little left hook. Stiff jab there, nice well, and long. Well, the thing is, Nick, when, when they don't get carried away with what we call like the bloodlust, they're both very technical boxers. Yes, both got a lot of skills. At the moment, it's coming down to heart and conditioning because they're pretty evenly matched. Yes, you'd have thought after the first 30 seconds it was only going one way, but despite all the blood on him, Michael has really been a big part of this fight. And I, I find overall, if you look at the round in its entirety, very difficult to separate them. It is. Taran sort of had a game plan. It looked like he wanted to get the takedown, but if you realise for that full four minutes, it never happened. Everything remained upright. Yes, maybe um, he's maybe he's not trying to get the takedown. Maybe he just wants to rough Michael up against the cage because we we yet to see him actually shoot in for the legs or try any trips or throws. But I've got to say, Taran's looking the more tired of the two here. Michael just has that look in his eyes. He wants it that bit more. And as we said, he's got a very nice stiff left jab, which he turned into a, a hook as well. So he's a good boxer when he wants to. And again, that, that little jab just shifted to a left hook. Punches in bunches, looking for the uppercut there. A couple of knees came in as well. And as you said, I think the momentum has shifted as the round went on. Survived that early onslaught and came back strongly. Yeah, not, not too much action happening here from the clinch. Maybe Taron should go back to kneeing the thighs there. He was scoring points with them earlier. But I think he's just taking a few deep breaths at this stage. Yes, it has been a hard pace for both men and, as you said, a lot of hurtful punishment as well. But if we remember in the first round, Taron got a success by taking that little step away and throwing the overhand right because the one thing you do know is Michael's head will be there. He doesn't have to know where it is. It's going to be there. Just like that, you know it's there. Yeah, and that is a problem for, for him. And again, he's had success with it. This must be something he's drilled well in training. Front headlock here needs to snap him down. Keep the work rate high. That's what I'd be shouting for in his corner. Yes, because it, it has been close over the, the course of the first round. He doesn't want to be on his knees here. He needs to get back on his feet and drag his opponent down. And he's let it go well. He let it go and then was virtually allowed to get it back again. Two very tired young men here. Yeah, from I the pace they've set and the hurtful nature of their work. He should at least be attacking the neck, looking for some front chokes there. Just got to keep working. This is an advantageous position. He needs to take advantage of it. It's Needs. almost like he's uncertain how to, Nick. Yes, I mean, his corner men should be shouting at something out here. I'm sure they are. I think they're asking for the knees to come. There it and is. Does bring to it, the nose. Yeah. That should have happened a long time ago. Yes, a bit of uncertainty there from Taron when he got into that excellent position. But that last flurry certainly took the wind out of the sails of Michael this time. And there's not so much coming back. So I think if it stays like this, we could be looking at a blue corner win because Leon is conscious of the fact there's not much going on now. We've got two tired men here. And one of them probably thinking, what have I got to do to put this guy away? They've got to go after it. It comes down to who wants it more. So much of the time. The judges are looking to see who wants it more. And I think with those low leg kicks and the way he, he came away from that last clinch, I think Taron is just about convincing them, especially in this round. Yeah, I mean, the low kicks at this stage aren't going to do much. But again, it's a good jab from Michael Jowski when he wants to use it. But I'm saying he's tired now in survival mode. taron has got to let his hands go. Yeah, he's pushing forward. Oh, the kick is just a matter of balance and timing. And for me, that could decide it for the judges here now. Yeah. Perfect timing in a round as well. Nick. It was a very powerful low kick. As you say, perfect timing. Just got a sweep off it. He needs to keep working now. Non-stop action. Looking to mount, and he gets it. Yes, nice movement. 10 seconds, he should be posturing up and punching at this stage. Instead, he's looking for some sort of side choke, I think, from here. A couple of little softness to the side of the body, but I think that last 
action that we saw, especially from the moment the kick take down, I think we'll take that to the blue corner and Tar Taran Shagnovsky. But a tough, tough fight, Nick. Let's put our hands together for what I can only call With the scores of 2018, 1919, and 1820, resulting in a draw.